Hiya, and today we're going to be talking about how to make your stories just that little bit more engaging and interesting using our representational systems, the way we talk. And first of all, we've got to understand that our thoughts and the way we speak are all encapsulated in the five sensory systems. In other words, visual images, auditory sounds, kinesthetic feelings, olfactory smells, and gustatory tastes. That's a little bit of technical jargon, but basically our five senses make up everything that we know because that's the doorways to our experience. Now, the way to make your story a little bit more interesting is if you know the main or the prime uh, representational system that someone uses, like if they're very much a visual person, and you can tell that by the, the fact that they use a lot of uh, visual descriptions, then start your story with talking about the visual elements of your story. Uh, I was on holiday and I saw this and picture this. Or if it's auditory, uh, start off by the sounds, the feel, the, and, and if it's kinesthetic, you start with the feelings. Oh, I had a really great time on holiday, it felt wonderful. But then irrespective of how you start, try to make sure that your story encapsulates all the five senses of the um, of your system. So for example, you know, on, on the holiday, we went to this waterfall and it was gushing with this huge overwhelming sound and the freshness of the air tasted so delicious and the smell of the flowers around, etc. gave me a feeling of blah, blah, blah. So what this does is, of course, it engages all the different parts of our system. It lights up our brain more. There's more activity going on in our brain and we get a more full representation and it just makes stories that bit more engaging. So next time you're having to give a story, try that and uh, see if the audience finds it more engaging. 